All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the new SeekScan thermal software. So again, it's been updated. As you can see, it doesn't look like the other one. Uh, you will also notice that I am now full screen. That's something new. The other one couldn't do it in the past. Uh, you'll notice there's some familiar settings on the left side of your visible image with your pass and a temperature measurement. On the right side, you have your thermal view here with the black body calibrator the red dot, uh, the red box there, as well as a graph over the past couple of readings. Going into the settings, the settings are similar to the previous version uh, with the addition of checking for updates. You can enable it or disable it. Again, we recommend you keep it on adaptive mode. As far as the station settings go, the camera, you can give it a name. Then you also have the save images functionality. This is back on the previous version. We didn't have that, now it's back here again. And there is actually two options now to export data, last 24 hours of your log plus your image data itself, so basically the pictures. These are encrypted, so which is a nice touch here. If you don't want to show temperatures for privacy and you don't want to save images, you can actually do all of that. So depending on your compliance uh, settings, you'll be able to control that. You also have the email alert option, so you can configure this with your own server and be able to send email alerts. Uh, if you are using port 465, 587, make sure you enable or disable SSS as needed, depending on your configuration. So let's go ahead and actually go into our desktop and look at the export. So for scan images, you'll have a pass and a fail folder. In this case, I only have pass. And there's three options. One is the whole screenshot of the whole application. The second is the thermal view. So this is a smaller thumbnail. And this is the visible light camera, which is the one you're most likely to use. So it has the temperature, the person, everything's all in one here. Now let's go ahead and look at the data itself. And on this demo machine, We'll be able to see a couple of options here for skin temperature, body temperature, threshold, any disposition, and the timestamp as well. So again, it'll give you your camera location. If you have more than one, that could also be enabled depending on your request here. And this is in Celsius, so you'll have to convert this to Fahrenheit to be able to see the equivalent. However, you have all the data uh, available for export here.